Demek sıra bilen bize speaking'ni başladık. Böyle ben hemeyle de speaking boyunca mol mol yeterli derecede. Böyle ben sıra ge speaking'ni kolden ki gençe rövazlandırışke hareket kırılış yoldan verişke hareket olman. Bu da halise native speaker'le bilen al hazır mülakatge çıkkamızı, alakage çıkkamızı. Native speaker'le hem sıra ge speaking'de yoldan veriş üçün vaxtı vaxtı bilen zoom ortalı gosayan hazırca şu yardan bir şey hareket kılışadı kolan ki genç indi anıq boladı da bitin ya hazır kolege varlık et vaxtı o şengi kuda xalısı yengiliyle boluşu kerek no apetti ki speaking rozdan tırışı yolu fakat günü speaking kılış ortalı so you need to try to Uh, always try to read one question and try to answer. Uh, you will not be able to improve your speaking skills through listening. Listening will be helpful, but again, if you don't start speaking yourself, that's going to make it more difficult. Um, if you have two or three or four friends, then you should start communicating. Then you, st you should start talking English okay so what I can say uh, today is um, I remember uh, some days ago you guys had a um, speaking club uh, among each other uh, I don't remember exactly how it was but you were asking questions from each other and you were um, I think you were answering to those questions um, By the way, I just want to check uh, if everything is fine. Is everything fine? Let me know. If there is a problem, just let me know by uh, writing in the chat box. Uh, I can see that uh, there is only Jamshid who wrote uh, greetings to me. But uh, the rest of you are... Yes, okay, Madina, that's great. Uh, I don't think I have a problem with Internet. Uh, I hope that you guys have no problems with Internet also. We've got uh, almost, let's say, it's if it's 24th, uh, six days from here, uh, and uh, another 10 days from uh, May, somewhere between 16 to 7 days, 17 days, which is more than two weeks. But uh, if you guys try, uh, you can improve in this two weeks. Uh, in this three weeks, you can make your English better. You can change it to a better side. Uh, you can make that you can make sure that your English is going to be changed to a better side all right so uh, how do you do it you have to um, make sure that you practice your English with yourself or with someone every day at least for let's say two hours or for three hours Um, I guess uh, it is not a problem for most of you. It's, it depends on your internet, Jamshid. Uh, it's not about my internet. If it was, uh, like you said, hot yapta, uh, I would feel it because this camera uh, shows how fast uh, my movements are. If it shows uh, instantly every move that I'm doing, then it's fine. My internet doesn't have any problems. But it depends on your internet. If you have problem, then you go. You will have it. Uh, you will have that uh, problem with your from your side. Okay. So, um, so doing a practice is only by speaking. So you shouldn't be shy. You shouldn't be uh, feeling yourself in a this uh, in like in a situation where you're not going to uh, well. What I, what I want to say is you have to feel comfortable. Even if you make mistakes at the beginning, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, right now, you are not in the examination or you're not in the process of exam. Uh, you are preparing for this. Uh, and when you're preparing, you should do a lot of practice if, if you want to improve your speaking. And again, I always say... Um, You can show that you know one language by speaking, not by the vocabulary that you know or not by writing it to someone. You can show that.
that your knowledge in that language uh, is normal enough only by speaking in most of the cases. So um, you, you should always try to speak, okay? Try to speak to yourself. Try to speak to a recorder. Record it and then talk to, uh, and then check it. Uh, try to check yourself. Because you know when when you check, you can you can feel how fast you're speaking, how fluently you're speaking, in what uh, coherent or co cohesion way uh, everything is put down. Okay, uh, so it is very important. So what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to try to do today, is uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, we have one, two, three. Uh, how many people do we have here? Nine people. That's great. Uh, we've got nine people over here. And uh, I'm going to ask a question. Those people who feel that they are ready, uh, just right here, I'm ready. The one who is ready first, you're going to start having a speaking. OK, we, we can do it like this. Uh, randomly, anyone can say, OK, I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a speaking with that person. The rest of you are going to listen, but it, you're not going to only listen. In the uh, background, you are going to try to answer that question yourself. But at the same time, I want you to make sure that you are doing it, okay? So it's not like you're only listening to Jamshid or Rabia or Sultan or Marjan or whatever, whoever it is. You are listening to my question, and you, you want to answer that question yourself. You're not listening to someone's answer. How would you answer to that question? Okay, so I want you uh, to let me know who's going to be first. Who wants to be first? Just let me know who wants to be first, and we will start doing speaking. I will try to uh, spend as much time as possible with everybody, I will try to manage uh, doing this kind of speaking with everybody. But uh, if you're not like, I want to be first, then I'm going to choose myself who's going to be first. So let me know. OK, Imran, he says he's ready. Great. Imran is ready. Everybody who's listening to us, Imran, uh, you have turned on your voice. All right, that's great. So everybody who's listening, you are going to answer to this question, to the same question yourself, but you're not going to turn on your voice. You're going to do it uh, in the background, okay? So you want to answer to this question on yourself, but we're not, we're not going to listen to you. Now we're going to listen only to Imran, okay? So one second, please. I'm going to prepare the book. Uh, one second. Okay, so are we ready? Imran, are you ready? It's very hard, it's very difficult to hear your voice. Can you speak a little bit louder? Hello. Yes, now it's yeah, yeah, that's now it's better. Okay, uh, Imran, you, you have to make sure that you're speaking only English with me, okay? Okay. This is the only way to improve your speaking skills. If you feel, okay, my teacher understands Uzbek, and I can always speak Uzbek to him whenever I wish, you will never improve your speaking skills. You have to feel, okay, he's a native speaker, he doesn't understand Uzbek, I need to speak Uzbek to him. Okay? Okay. Great. Uh, that's great. We're ready to start. Um, 
My name is Kazum. Today I'm going to be your examiner. Uh, may I know your name, please? Yes, my name is Imran. Mm -hmm. Great, Imran. Uh, can I see your identification card? It's just like a process. Just uh, you gave it to me, and I said, uh, "All right, now." Uh, yes, please. Here yeah. you are. Here you are. That's great. Now we're going to go uh, start with the first part of our speaking test. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Which part of your country do most people live in? Uh, did you, can you repeat? Uh, did question? you understand the question? No. Okay, so I can repeat the question. Uh, which part of your country do most people live in? Which part? Which part uh, is? Yeah, well, uh, which part of your country, whole country, do most people live in? Most people living in in Tashkent city, in our, in our city, Tashkent, because it's capital of Uzbekistan and modern, more modern city in Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. Great, that's great. Okay, uh, I'm just going to take my notebook to make some notes. If you're, if you're making mistakes, I will let you know later, all right? So that's great. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to the next question. Tell me about the main industries here in Tashkent. Main industries here is, uh, I think, economic industries and education mm -hmm. and investigate. Um, mm -hmm. Export import mm -hmm. cars, food. Okay, good. Uh, um, how easy is it to travel around like, your country? Uh, I will repeat the question again. How easy is it to travel around your country? It's it's easy to travel by bus. If if you wish, uh, if you wish travel yourself, you can you can catch a taxi and travel by taxi. Oh, that's great. That's great. comfortable more than bus, buses and metros. Okay, thank you. Uh, my next question is: Has your country changed much since you were a child? Uh, I really do. I don't know really because I was born in Fergana. I came. I came here when I was twelve years old. Mm -hmm. Of course, for six years it was changing much more than than I came. It was built at new buildings and city city becomes more modern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Now I want to ask you uh, some more questions uh, about your interests, okay? Okay. Uh, can you tell me about your hobbies? My hobbies is my in my free time, I play football with my friends and I like to play football in PlayStation. And, and I can go to the cinema with my friends um, do you do you like to spend your time with your friends or your family? Uh, my family is f far from me, and for this reason, I spend my time with my friends more. Okay, uh, that's great. Thank you. That's uh, the first part of the speaking test. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. I want to give you some uh, advice. Uh, so I was asking a question related to your country. So uh, you uh, you went a bit out of the topic because you you you understood that I was asking about your city. I'm not asking about Tashkent city. 
uh, I, I was asking about the country. Has your country changed since you were a child? Okay, so, you know, generally, you know, uh, everything about our country. So you can say uh, it has changed or it hasn't changed. And if it has changed, give some reasons why it has changed. For example, you can say, uh, yes, my country has changed a lot. Um, especially the capital city has uh, shown uh, immense changes in its uh, economics, in its uh, buildings, or whatever. So you should you should be uh, able to talk about exact things every time when you're asking. Uh, when you're asked a question, be careful and try to understand the question carefully. Okay, okay. that's very important. Um, uh, then uh, the question, uh, the questions were sometimes I was asking questions from the past, like has your country changed? Uh, sometimes I was asking questions uh, from the present. So depending on what tense I ask you question, you should speak in that tense. For example, if the question is asking you about past time, you should use past tenses, right? past simple tense or past continuous if you wish. And depending on the situation and if the question is related to the future so you have to use future tense okay sometimes you were confusing the tenses uh, you said investigate investigate is a is a is a verb um, it's not an industry uh, so it's not a correct word to say that it's an, you know, the industry that it's developing or uh, the challenging industry uh, industry okay so you should um, basically as I always say you're not shy to speak but uh, you're at the same time you you don't think really what your mistakes are you have to be careful with your mistakes you have to try to uh, the, as I said yesterday there are four things that uh, that are checked first one is pronunciation yes the second one is fluency and coherence Number th three is vocabulary. Number five is grammar. You need to think of everything. Are you speaking um, clear? I think you don't have any problems with your pronunciation. If you work um, and if you try to improve your, uh, let's say, vocabulary, it will be better. You, you, you need to work on your grammar. You need to work on your uh, vocabulary. Uh, these are the things that are important for you. Uh, but when you speak, it's clear. I can understand you. But you're not using the words in the right place, and you are not using the correct grammar tense in, in, in your answers. Okay? Okay. If, if you don't mind, I will switch on to another person from your group. But you still have yes. to uh, answer the questions on yourself. Okay? Don't, don't worry to answer... On the background, you have to try to answer the questions. All right? Okay. Great. Uh -huh. Now, Madina says she's ready. Great. Madina, welcome. Yes. Great. Uh, if you're ready, yeah, that's, I, I like when people are brave. You should be always brave. And I always, uh, yesterday I told, I, I don't remember if I told this group or uh, to another group. I said you guys need to be always ready to everything. Uh, one thing, if you are ready, if you feel comfortable, you're going to make it easier. And another thing, before, is, is it clear to everybody? Um, Sultan, you're, you're next, okay? Sultan is going to be next. Is everything clear to everybody? Can you hear me? Can you understand what I'm speaking? Is my English easy to understand for you guys? Great. Uh, yes. Okay. That's great. Uh, Madina, we're going to start. I feel like you're ready. Good. Uh, Madina, um, I'm going to ask you some questions from speaking part one, if you're ready. Yes, I am ready. That's great. Um, can you tell me about your favorite color? Mm, let me think. In my opinion, my my favorite color is red and blue. 
Okay, uh, white and blue, yes? Did, that, did I hear correctly? Madina, excuse me, uh, there, there is a problem with your microphone. Uh, did I hear correctly? Is, was it white and blue or red and blue? I was blue because it uh, means uh, because it means green and uh, yes. I don't know. I like it. Uh, don't worry if I write because I'm just taking notes. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing, okay? So just answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you said blue is your favorite color. Why is it? Just tell me why is it a blue? Uh, blue. Why do you like blue? Does your uh, does it make you feel better when you see this color? Maybe it uh, it motivates you. Maybe it gives you good mood. Whatever. Just need to tell me why do you like this color? Everybody is answering this question. What are your favorite colors and why do you like that color? Please, Madina. Why do you like that color? My favorite color is blue because I like it. Uh, when I when I see blue, I can motivate it and uh, it uh, give me some uh, good mood. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Uh, my next question is, do you like the same color now as you did when you were younger? Do you like the same color now as you did in, when you were uh, younger? Um. The, the, the question means, do you like the color which you liked in your childhood? For example, maybe in your childhood you liked red and now you like blue. And if it's red and red, then it's the same. If it's red and blue, they are not the same. And if you liked another color when you were a child, tell me, and why was it different? When I childhood, I like it uh, pink. Pink, okay. Uh, because uh, when I see the pink, I uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I remember. Uh, Um, okay, um, we'll do it like this. I feel like you're not very much ready. Uh, I will come back to you again after some time, okay? Okay. Uh, try to uh, warm up your language, warm up. Yani, uh, I will give you some uh, advice. Uh, look, Karim, but this is the my advice, Birama. Uh, when you were speaking, you said, my favorite color is this day. It's the color it is white and blue. Black and blue is Islamima. Uh, my favorite color is Ganizanikin because she's gay. She kisses is to be fair, is such that. If you want to say that, that there are two favorite colors, you should say, my favorite colors are the bitches. Again, uh, uh, uh, uh, warm up while she likes it. Harila. Hasapat, sala. Um, uh, speaking Kalistan Alden. Warm up while she likes it. Masala, you must talk about them. Football then, was it a blessing? Football in a stall, football is the branch, you know, people pass in Chakzo. Kazo must stand to get young oil in Chibran, Kazip, 
Trinovka ki futbol uçuştan aldı tergeli kol uçuşken futbol uçuşun farkı var. Yani tergeli kol uçuşken oyuncu yakışır o performu kıladı. Tergeli kol mesela durup müzde halette yugur uçuşu etken oyuncu yamar o performu kıladı. Yani ikilesken kabiliyatı bir kır boluşu mümkün. Lekin korsatı bir alış ihtimali warm-up kıyandı kattıra boladı. Yani siz de speaking test kılıçtan aldın. Yani haz birinci bu gerlek yaxşı yaman buldu. Yani sizle warm-up sistem değil. Bu gerlek az warm-up buldu. Yani trenok ki kovat dedi. İlk hen trenok speaking'in kursa çıkı imkaniyat katkala şok. So that's why I started speaking English right from the beginning of our lesson. When you hear that I'm speaking English, you will be prepared. Now I will have to speak back English to that person. You will be preparing yourself to speak English, all right? So this is very important. Whenever from next lessons, before you start joining to this lesson, you have to practice at least half an hour. So there could be like, I, I will ask one of you to start having a conversation with me. So if you are not warmed up, then you might have a problem, okay? Keyin zamanlar deyəm, siz deyəm, şu sual buldu, cevab buldu. When I see the bit is, yəni, bu da pink color, bu past da, yəni siz otgən zamanda yaxşı qoradınız. Şəni, when I saw buldu. Yəni, sinə, tübini otgən zamanda işləyə çizgirin. Yəni, bir maddə etdə olma, həm eləgə. Pay attention in what tense you are being asked a question. If the tense is in the past, about the past, so you have to speak using past tenses. I asked, what was your favorite color in your childhood? You, should, you said, it was pink, uh, because when I saw it, not, not when I see it, it's different now. You said, uh, my favorite color now is blue, and now, uh, when you're talking about now, present situation, uh, you, sh you can use, you can say, when I see, uh, but it was in the past. When you want to say something about past situation, you should use, when I saw, okay? Okay. Um, great. Uh, you'll be waiting in the wait list, waiting list. Um, I'm going to go with Sultan. Sultan, are you ready? Yes. All right. Already. Are you in the street? Yeah. Why? Why aren't you at home? Yes. What? Are, what are you doing on the street? Yeah, uh, I am going to go in a supermarket now. Well, we are having lesson now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, we've got six minutes left. Anyway, we will try to do something with you. And if we will, if we are not able to finish in six minutes, we're going to continue it with you after the break. Okay. So, um, yeah. Here's my question. Uh, we're going to start the speaking part one with you. And here is okay. my first question. Do you prefer relaxing at home or going out in the evening? Uh, I prefer to stay at home because I like it and uh, I prefer to at home uh, to listening music and watch it. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, when you go out for evening, what do you like to do? Did you understand the question? I, should I repeat it? Um, yeah. Um, I go to out um, uh, for, uh, uh, for seeing us uh, from a uh, market in the evening. Um, and um, I don't like uh, to out. Uh, yeah, 
you said, uh, I'm sorry, you don't like what? Again, I like uh, to go out. You don't like going out? Going out, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, but if you go out, what do you normally do in the evening? If, but let's imagine you went out, you don't have anything to do yeah. at home. You went out to do something in the evening. What do you normally do when you go out? I think uh, normally uh, going to out uh, uh, two or uh, one uh, o'clock uh, in a day. Uh, because uh, you can uh, travel in the, uh, uh, on the street and uh, you um, you can uh, enjoy it mm -hmm. so you like going out because you like walking on the street right yeah so that's how you say you say when i go out in the evenings i spend my time walking because that gives me energy that makes uh, me feel better you have to say like that okay so you should say when i go out yeah. i like walking yeah i go i like walking and uh, i sometimes run in the stadium okay the stadium. uh you don't say run because run is like uh, you run from something you should say jog because yeah. this is different you uh, jog here yeah. jog yeah jogging that's different okay so you go out for jogging yeah okay that's great running is like fast running and you don't i, I don't think you, you run fast uh, okay how popular is this yeah. with other people in your country uh, how popular is this Please repeat, of course. I'm, I'm going to repeat the question again how popular is jogging with other people is this the same popular as as for you or is it different for other people jogging yes very popular jogging uh, because i uh, um, i you can see uh, to jogging uh, a lot of people in the stadium uh, for example i um, jogged uh, yesterday i meet uh, a kitais people uh, Kitai's people is a very, uh, very intelligent person. Uh, he uh, he communicated uh, this it uh, this thing. Okay, you you want to say Chinese people, right? Yeah, Chinese people. Okay, um, that's great. And the last question: Is there any kind of entertainment you like you don't like? Is there any kind of entertainment you don't like? Please repeat your question. Do you have anything? Uh, I think we've got only one minute left, and uh, that's going to be a break time after one minute. I'm going to continue uh, our speaking with you after the break time. The guys, uh, okay. you have everybody heard the questions. Uh, I'm going to repeat the same questions again. Um, so be ready. Uh, we'll meet with you at, right after 10 minutes. Uh, don't go far away from the from your computer or your telephone or whatever uh, that you're using now. Um, I will come back to you in 10 minutes because I need to have 10 minutes of break in order to record, save the record, and send it to you later. All right? See you guys in 10 minutes. Don't go far away. Good. Good. Okay, we're going to continue with Sultan. Uh, Sultan, you may turn on your voice. Uh, okay, so I gave you a question. Uh, my last question, what was that? Could you remind it to me? How popular is this with other people I don't in your country, know. right? Yeah. And then I said, is there any any kind of entertainment that you don't like? Uh, so did you answer that question? I don't I don't quite remember exactly if you have answered the question. Is there any kind of entertainment that you don't like? 
Can you remind that to me? Did you answer that question? Yes. You answered it. Okay. Please repeat your question again. Great. Uh, so I will ask you one or two more questions and then we will um, go to another person. Um, so could you tell me, uh, what is your favorite book? My uh, favorite book? Uh, all, um, only detective book uh, by Shakespeare. So, uh, uh, why is it? It's a very popular uh, writer. Mm -hmm. Why I am interested in... Because uh, it's very uh, comfortable to see and alone. And... and um, there are all, uh, a lot of different... Uh, Difference even. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, try to um, find uh, a solution uh, this uh, a lot of uh, different uh, problem. Mm. Okay. During the right. Uh, right. So what do you think? Uh, most people like to read in your country. Mm. I think uh, older people like uh, reader, uh, and uh, younger pe uh, people. Uh, I think not very fair to read. Uh, the I uh, prefer to read and uh, in the uh, mobile phone and uh, by a computer and that's website. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sultan, um, I feel like uh, you're doing well, but again, you are not that well, uh, which is uh, you, which means that you, you might now go to IELTS speaking test. Uh, what you need to do is uh, practice more again, um, try to make this as um, less because you're you're doing it a lot and which is a little bit even irritating sometimes. Uh, so what you need to do is concentrate on what you're saying. Again, you had the same problem as Imran did at the beginning of our lesson. Uh, you didn't really understand the question. I had to repeat that those questions again and again in order to uh, make it clear for you. So uh, what you need to do is to listen carefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing is try to understand exactly what the examiner asking you from you. If you don't really understand the question itself, re-ask from the examiner. You can say, excuse me, could you repeat the question? I didn't quite get it. Or your voice was not clear, something like that. So you, know, you don't show that you don't really understand the question because it's in English, you have to uh, make sure that you can understand it if it is clearly uh, delivered to you, if it's uh, clearly uh, pronounced or whatever. So you, you want to sound like you're professionally uh, a good speaker, but you, don't, you didn't catch what she or he said, okay? So you didn't, it's not that you didn't catch the meaning of that uh, question. You didn't catch what is being asked because of the voice or connection problems or whatever. So you have to try to answer the question uh, correctly on, on topic, not off topic. And yeah, again, practice a lot. Thank you. Now, who's, who's the next one? Who's ready? Robi, are you ready? Okay. Yes, of course. That's great. Um, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, 
Okay, so my first question to you is, how important are clothes and fashion to you? Did you understand the question? How important yeah. are clothes and fashion to you? If you understood the question, please go ahead and answer. Clothes? Yeah, well, the things that you put on yourself. Did you get it? Did you understand the question or do you want me to explain it to you? Uh, what about the others? Uh, the rest of you guys, uh, you, you have to start answering to this question again. How important... How important are clothes, clothes, and fashion to you? Is it important to you, or is it you don't care about clothes? You don't care about fashion. If it is uh, important, tell me why it's important. If it's not important, tell me why not it is important. How important clothes? Uh, clothes? Yeah. Kimlar va modalar muhimmi, qanday darajada deyishyapti? Thank you. Uh, I have a translator now. Thank you. So Robbie, I think you are not ready, so please go back to your seat. Uh, wait for your turn. Please prepare. Um, I will start talking with. Uh, uh, clothes. Uh, I'm ready. <clears throat> clothes are very important for me. Okay. Uh, because. Because. Uh, because uh, I uh... okay. Who wants to answer this question? Who wants to answer this question? Yeah. Um, no one. Come on, guys. Just turn on your voice and start answering to this question, like Jamshid did uh, with the translation. How important are the clothes and fashion to you? Uh, Robias, you said clothes are very important for me. Uh, tell me why. Why is it important? Now, bir çündüzü sorular. Ne madem cevap birgen bolar desin. Hala hazır man çünyat siz yo çünyat siz bolar mı yok ki? Ama ben gaye ki vakti yandı yo diye sormanız. Aha, şu gaye ki ne yapmayın? Yani o zaman Kim kecek ve moda kançalı derecede mi okum? <gülüyor> Dilik. Hı hı. ki, on yıl aldı ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, ki, Narkı tımat kimle boluş gireyim mi? Yok ki arzal kimle bu uğradım. Maçlı kalıksız. Fikirleşi kengir o oylayın. Kançalı derecede kim mangi mukum eke? Kim mangi mukum cüde? Çünkü adam yalan kaçırmaydı da ya fikirde boluş gireymez. Siz kançalı derecede mi? Ben mesela benimde iki otken kim mi? Adamla mangi kurup bu haber işleri rengi mukum. Maşlaka nasıl ben fikirleştiniz gerekiyor? Hazır siz tasavvur olayım. Siz Ozbeçe deyen fikir yürüyoruz almayan sizde. İngilizce'ye 
umuman hazır bizə o şəmçin uzaq etdiyi var. Dials speak Ukrainian deyirlər. Biz ordu içində fikirləşəyəm. Eyn əsasiz hazır fikir və qayəni toğurla var işgəli deyək. O betildi, mənə çünərlik sonra gələndə writing-də həmətə mənəsələ gəyək. Savallı, you have to make the question easier. If you make the question easier, it's going to be easier to understand. Yəni, savallı ansarlaşdırsəyiz, sizgə işləş ansarraq olədi. Sizgə cavab veriş ansarraq olədi. Siz savallı hazır mənə çünkürək verimə görəncə toxtab qalınız, deyək. Bu dəməşdə, cüldə ağır bu dünyanın qeyin savallı deyək. Sual gəngi rəq qarəşi qərəkət qəri? Uzbekçəsi gə cavab edib qoyun, çəxən çəlik sizgə kiyim muxum. Kiyim və moda muxum. Because it's very important for me, because the clothes in the item reflect my nature. Once again. Could you repeat what you said? You have just uh, said. Uh, because uh, the clothes uh, in the item reflect my nature. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. Well, let me show you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Why are you doing a variant job, Lebar? But that should be English. <coughs> yeah, Madina, do you want to say something? Yes. Yeah. Clothes and fashion important to me because it makes me look good and feel good myself. And so I prefer wearing simple uh, clothes. Uh, because it uh, it's comfortable and simple. Okay, Karela, Mr. Hazar Salablan Part One. How can I get this Part Two good money. Part Three good money. Mr. Hazar, how can Part One? Yani question answer, question answer. What is it? Hazar, this is the job. Is just a usual rock book. It's called. Yani discussion. Yeah, how can I get this? Shall we? Large board. This is the best. It can be. Uh, clothes and fashion, or there are the Diana that she's getting, but the other clothes and fashion. It's the clothes to other public fashion. Clothes and fashion are important for uh, to me because they should man man it can is other you that should uh, but you do uh, description get it for she's chapter. Okay, this is part one. Part one is the cook job there's a chapter. Okay, uh, we will continue with Robia. Robia, are you ready? Yes. What kind of clothes do you like? Uh, <clears throat> I like um, very um, uh huh. What kind of clothes do you like? Tell me. Um, maybe you like clothes uh, made from cotton. Yes, do you know what is cotton? Yes. Okay, so you can say, I like clothes made from cotton or made from silk or I like uh, modern and fashion clothes. I like um uh, all style old fashion clothes or you can say i like jeans i like uh classic clothes whatever just tell me what kind of clothes do you like you're thinking again ah, wow it's a difficult question. it's not a difficult question it's a very easy question tell me uh what would you say in uzbek what kind of clothes do you like uh classical clothes Okay, so I have helped you with the answer, and you have just said classical clothes. Uh, you don't say classical, you say classic. I like classic. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to put on classic uh, wearings. Okay. Uh, next question. 
How different are the clothes you wear now from those you wear 10 years ago? How often, what? How different, uh, how mm -hmm. different are the clothes you wear now from those you wore 10 years ago? Did you wear the same clothes 10 years ago or is it different? Maybe your style was different and now it is different. You should say about your style, how different your clothes. So you can say 10 years ago, I was a first grade student at school. I, wear, I wore a school uniform, but now you don't need to wear school uniform because the laws have changed. And now I can wear whatever I want in my daily life. I can put on some casual clothes or a classic clothes. Whatever you want. You say something. Don't worry. It's not like I'm not killing you. I'm on the other side of the camera. My hand will not reach to kill you. Don't worry. Do you wear the same clothes as you were in your uh, like 10 years ago Rabia are you here yes I'm here so okay Rabia, take a break. Uh, I feel like you have to really work on your speaking skills. You are, I feel like you are slipping. Uh, if you are slipping, go and uh, wash your face with a very hot, uh, cold water. You'll wake up. Uh, I will have to switch on to another person. I cannot give you feedback because you are not speaking. My only feedback to you is uh, practice. Practice speaking the more more uh, uh, speaking on a background, speaking if you make mistakes, that's fine. I will correct you, uh, or your friends will correct and say, uh, "Rabia, here you have a question. Uh, you have a problem. Uh, here you have a mistake." So you should start speaking. For me, I will speak to another for continuation. As far as I will speak, you should have heard some of the answers. And in the plan, tell you better the answers. Respond now. Okay. Who's ready? Who's next? Okay. <laughs> no one. Then I will choose myself. Abro, please turn on your voice. Uh, we're going to speak with you. Mr. Abro, are you here? Um, what is Yakshamasis? <laughs> uh, hi. Ah, I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Maybe. I'm ready. Great. Um, we're going to practice the same questions as we did with Robia. Uh, you have heard all the questions. I'm going to repeat those questions to you again. Uh, so, how important are clothes and fashion to you? Uh, it's important. It's important for for me. Uh, clothes are uh, not a uh, significant uh, fashion. Uh, I. I. Chose uh, 
I just comfortable, uh, close, uh, zen, uh, fashion uh, style. Why? Nah, I don't. I don't like uh, fashion style. You don't like fashion style. Good. Thank you. What kind of clothes do you dislike? So you you don't like fashion clothes, yes? I don't like. Um, um, All right. Okay. My next question is. How different are the clothes you wear now from those who uh, you wore 10 years ago? Is it different? Did you wear different clothes 10 years ago? Uh, 10 years ago, I, I was in childhood. Uh, uh, I... I don't uh, choose uh, my clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, it it um, chosen um, by my parents. Okay. Now uh, I I I change it now. Change it. Uh, um, my clothes uh, style maybe i don't know uh, i don't know uh, now maybe change style so um you want to say that in the past your parents chose your clothes now it's you who chooses what to wear so in the past you were something different now it is different right okay so uh, thank you uh, my next question is do you think the clothes we wear say about us do you think what do you, uh, so here the question is again, what do you think the clothes we wear say about us? Yes. Uh, what, what do you think? What yes, do you think they say about us? The clothes that we wear, what do they say about us? Uh, so the question is, no other boy is, does it keep your gun, Kim Lebza Hakamas? I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, I, Mm -hmm. Characters, uh, maybe poor uh, and uh, poor and poor and poor men and. Uh, Okay, you can say our status. Yes, our status, status, our status. Uh, our how, how, poor, uh, how rich we are. So our uh, clothes show our status. Okay. Is it uh it help to differentiate our uh, occupation, for example? Or uh, you can you can see like policemen wearing their uniforms. Yes. <laughs> Businessmen wearing always suit and uh, ties yeah workers wear jeans teachers wear always glasses white skirt ties so you should you should you should be able to say 
what do clothes tell us about our appearance? Like what, how how they describe us. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. I, thank you. Um, I don't understand. Ab Ab you? you didn't understand. You have to tell us yeah. no. really uh, what what you think the clothes tell us. You can say, okay, depending on what people wear, you can assume who that person is and what's that person's occupation. For example, policemen wear their uniform. When you look at policemen, you can understand that this person is a policeman or the same for doctors they have their uniform of course they don't wear their uniforms outside on the street but when you go to a hospital or medical center you can differentiate a doctor or anyone who works for that hospital by their uniform whatever they're on Yes, you can differentiate people from their clothes when you go to hospitals. And when it comes to military people, like policemen, military person, you can see them on the street. Even you can differentiate them everywhere, wherever you see. Um, or you can say uh, if there, there is a worker, a normal worker who cleans the street. Yes, they have their uniform. Yes, uh, trashmen. Yeah, trashmen. They have their uniform. Mm -hmm. Different. So you can identify what person's occupation is depending on what they wear. Okay. So this is what uh, what is important. That is very important that you have to say. Demir Karen. Uh, I wish I had more time to practice with you. Salablan Harakat Kalama, Kopra practice Kalashkat. Um, Dars Lamazan Kopra Kalamazan, if the girl of the Holocaust in Indian Kalamaz speaking, um, like a practice lamb. Mitch the Bolish, if the gift principle saw the kid. Speaking, so speaking the Katnashkan Yasha Sabab otherwise you will not be able to improve your speaking skills. For me, it is easier to express my ideas in English rather than in Uzbek because they are totally you know different things. I got used to uh, giving my impressions in English. Uh, rather than in Uzbek, maybe it's it's more like uh, English became as a formal language for me. But Uzbek is a language that I use with my family, with my friends. Uh, but when it comes to teaching, when it comes to formal uh, conversation, I like using English. And that should be the same for you guys. And how did I improve my speaking? only by speaking with my friends, only by talking to people who surround me, uh, who, who knows English, yeah. So uh, you've got a great opportunity. You've got me. At least you've got me. You can start communicating with me English. You can ask a question, not in a written form, but send a voice message. You can ask a question by sending a voice message but like saying, okay, teacher, I've got a problem with my writing task too. I don't really understand this. Could you explain? Or I, I wrote this, this, this, this things. And could you tell me? You should start communicating with me in English. Otherwise, you will not improve. Um, I can see that most of you have changed your writing skills. You, you're now a good writer. But speaking is different. Also, all that the writing there was an interesting of the clean bolish momida, because couple of the writing clean or speaking then, actually the in clean speaking. 
writing rolandır şu yıl on sonra ne mesela bazı şeyler bazen ki yazışıyla yeni rock otada yaparsın kore birinciden ikinciden writing bazı ide imkanlar var vaktte vaktten kelimeler arsından internetten ya da dictionaryden kuru alıp kendi yazışkın speaking de ona da imkanlar yok yani ben hazır mı nasıl ki speaking mı kelimeleri kendi job verirse de miyim speaking de one to one var diye ende Lekin sizlerge Jonathan Watkins o şey speaking materyallerin boyutu sizler işleşiyle kiri. Sebabı o şey ben hazır ben bilen bu Watkins malakat ki oxşa gelen narsa di. Bu da hazır sırada salk sayacağım küçük rak. Sebabı hazır ben on tada ben bilen bile on bir tada bu videonu tamasha yaptı online tarzı. Bundan ki sizler yani ikinci narsa. من بودن که یه نادم ل یوتیوب دیان تماس شکل شد دیگه من با خسخه جان کورکیم چه سلگی باریران و شکترش که سبب ولدی اگر سلگ مرش اتاق دن اتوال بوده گپ رشته باش لب کت سیل خود خالص است بیکین دن فیل کماس دیگه لفت مال کتر شد اشان چون حاضر بگون یه اتیل گن موضوع ل بوده یا بگون یه اتیل گن سال لر بوده یا من ویدیو اتوال کن دن که این اوزی ل چون یه نه ویدیو نباش کردم کوتور مش سوال گی من خنک جواب دیدیم ولاد مایل حاضرگی اتاق تر جوابی لان یاز مرا وشته یاز ب دیکی اون اوکو بیر میل سوال لگی جوابی لان اوکو بیر وقت کنی لان یه من سه زمان چند کپی لو اوکو بیر اصله جونت کن رکوردی لدیم اوکو لگن دن من سه زمان سبب ندیده اوپت کرد کیم گفتار بیر وقت کیم اوکو بیر وقت بو کورن برد شان چه جواب لان تخمینا یا شیل ممکنه، لکن اونو اوکو بیار میسله. سبب یکی اتلاع میسله، اما اونو سبب بوق سلی هیچ کنکه یار دن بیار میده. سلی سپیکینگ دن فی اوکال شیل احتمال کاتل شده. اگر سلی سوال لگی جواب تو پروست کور کورانه یاد لش باشه سلی. اون دن کره سلی ریال نه سپیکینگ نه راج دن کش که کپراق همه بیار شیل کری. سپیکینگ یه نفر مدت ایتالیا راج دن کش یورل. فقط سپیکینگ خلاش آرکالی یه نه راج نه درست بود که اش ریال اکسامینر لبنان سپیکینگ بگن نرسه لازم کرد سس کنه که جواب بدهیس اکسامینی کنه که جواب بده اش نرسه لازم کرد شو لانه کیت مکیت شود اشلاب کایتا کایتا اش سوال لان کرد من خازر کی ویدیو نم من درس فقط نشدم کو کایتا شم کورشم شرط میکنم بگن فکر نه چت کی شد من شو نرسه لازم کردم لکن من ده افکت خسکالش می‌چون ماشین هستن کیچ مدت کرد، مشت دیگه سوال لگی یعنی کپراق خات نشده یعنی جواب بیش که هرکت کورشن کری. برنش مدت است سر برنک جواب بیار است. اکینچ مدت است اونا یهش را جواب بیار است که سر اوزیلانه استیل ده راج نتر شیول دشته شد کری. من ماش سوال نمیگی من جواب بیار آمدم داد سوال بیش است کری ده اوزیلگی. How could I answer to this question? Why was not I was not able to answer this question? What's the problem? سلو وزیران یه لبلان ندیده بعد تو کلشی لکه دیدی نمیگه من میام باشکل جا باشکل جواب دارم میکنم نمیگه من جواب دارم میکنم ممکن نیست همه لذت حاضر من بله من سلو همه لذت سلو گپر سه چنام است دیگه گپر نمیکنیم سبب سلو گپر میسله گپر سه چنوت درست لذت گپرش کیم گپر میسله کی نسل دن سال بیار سلو نمیگه گپر میسله سه چون کی سلو وارد نزد پس نزد کم چون کی ندیدم نیستن یه حسابی نیست ازت اوت است. لیکن من چون واسه من چه چه وام میپرسه؟ کنار کسی که چون وقت که آدم ده سلوار ده زپاس کم بولیش ممکن. سلو چون طور سلو من گپ رو دیگر میدی، لیکن سلو گپ رو منم آنو نیستن دیگه بار هم مسوزش شد تو گپ رو دیگر میاد. منم شو سلو آنو اولین میده. سلو سلو چون دیگه درجه دیگه سوز دارن سیکی سیکی بیت بیت بیت بیت بیت یه گپ طورب سیکی رو گپ روش کار کرد خلاصه هر سپا. I'm not talking to you as a native speaker. I, if I was, if I knew that I'm talking to a native speaker, I would totally change my speaking uh, fluency or everything. I would change vocabulary that I would use. That that would make you make it difficult for you to understand me. But again, I am speaking English. You understand. All of you understand what I'm saying. Trust me, you understand what I'm saying right now. But how can I speak English with using sim simple words? 
and it's difficult for you. No, it's not difficult if you practice. You will stop saying, I understand you when you speak, but I don't know how to speak. Don't say that because you don't practice. If you practice, you will know how, when, where to use the words that is in your brain. Your brain already contains a lot of vocabulary, so a lot of words. You have a, a memory where you keep these English words. You have to start using them. They're just lying. They're just doing nothing. So in order to activate them, in order to make them work, you have to start speaking. Otherwise, you will never, ever improve your speaking skills. Am I clear? Did you understand everything that I'm saying? Yes, you see, you understand everything that I'm saying, but you don't know how to speak. Why? Because your words, which are lying in your brain, are lazy, like just like you are. You are lazy, your brain is lazy, all the words that you have learned are also lazy. So, in order to make them active, in order to get a high score from IELTS, what you need to do, you need to start using those words. Step by step, your vocabulary is going to increase, and then you're going to use that high-level vocabulary in your better English again and again and again. So that's how you're going to grow your speaking abilities. Okay, thank you very much for today's participation. I will try to do a lesson tomorrow at 2. I will send this message to the Telegram group that we have. Uh, I want you guys to participate. I am trying to give you as much as possible, so you need to give back. And yeah, hope to see you tomorrow. Good luck. Wish you all the best.